A Chinese bomber just flew with something the world hoped wouldn't be real, an air-launched ballistic missile powerful enough to reach U.S. bases in Guam, fast enough to outpace missile defenses, and possibly armed with a nuclear warhead. In the most precise image ever captured, China's H-6N bomber was spotted carrying the CH as X-13, a weapon believed to be an air-launched variant of the DF-21D or even the hypersonic DFCF glide vehicle. In this video, we break down the aircraft, the missile, and why this moment could redefine power in the Indo-Pacific. The H-6N isn't just another variant in China's long line of H-6 bombers. It's the first specifically designed to carry air-launched ballistic missiles, ALBMs. While its base design traces back to the Soviet-era 216, the H-6N has evolved into something far more threatening. It has been re-engineered to serve as a key pillar of China's long-range precision strike and nuclear deterrent strategy. What makes the H-6N unique is its recessed fuselage mount, a structural redesign that allows it to carry massive, high-weight missiles like the CH as X-13 without compromising flight stability. Unlike previous versions, such as the H-6K, which focused on cruise missile payloads, the H-6N is equipped for oversized ballistic munitions. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete doctrinal shift toward airborne strategic delivery. Another key enhancement is the addition of an aerial refueling probe, giving the H-6N a combat radius exceeding 3,500 kilometers. This vastly increases its operational range, making it capable of conducting missions well beyond China's immediate territory, including strikes across the first and even second island chains, deep into the Pacific. This capability was clearly on display during recent military exercises. Notably, in April 2025, the H-6N was observed flying with a CH as X-13 missile during the Strait Thunder 2025A drill by the PLA's Eastern Theater Command. Analysts identified the aircraft as part of the 10th Bomber Division, an operational combat unit, not a test or training wing. That distinction implies the H-6N is no longer experimental, it's active and combat ready. The H-6N is powered by twin D30KP2 turbofan engines, delivering a top speed of Mach 0.75 and endurance sufficient to support extended patrols and strike missions. Avionics are reportedly upgraded to support complex digital fire control systems, long-range navigation, and precision targeting integration, all optimized for delivering AL beams like the CH as X-13. Suspended beneath the H-6N in the now viral photo is the CH as X-13, a missile shrouded in mystery, speculation, and growing concern. It's not just its sheer size that draws attention, it's what it might represent, a breakthrough in China's airborne strike capabilities and possibly the most advanced air-launched ballistic missile, ALBM, in active development today. So, what exactly is the CH as X-13? Experts believe it is an air-launched variant of the DF-21D, often dubbed the carrier killer. Others suggest it might house the DFCF hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, also used in the DF-17 missile system. Both options are deeply concerning, one designed to obliterate aircraft carriers with pinpoint accuracy, and the other engineered to evade all known missile defenses through unpredictable, high-speed maneuvering. Reports from open-source military intelligence and confirmation from analysts like Andreas Ruprecht reveal that the CH as X-13 is a two-stage, solid-fueled missile with an estimated range of 3,000 kilometers. The missile is believed to be nuclear-capable, allowing it to target strategic assets like U.S. bases in Guam, hardened bunkers, or high-value naval assets across the Pacific. What makes it truly formidable is the likely inclusion of a maneuverable reentry vehicle, MARV. This allows the warhead to adjust its course during re-entry, making mid-flight evasive maneuvers that can bypass interceptors like Aegis or Thad. In terms of deployment, the CH as X-13 is launched mid-air. After being released from the H-6NS underbelly, it drops horizontally, its fairings detaching before the first stage ignites. It quickly ascends into a ballistic trajectory, exits the atmosphere, and re-enters with either a high-speed descent or a gliding approach depending on its payload type. Speeds are estimated to exceed Mach 6, potentially reaching Mach 10 during certain phases of flight. 
In 2021, the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency's China Military Power Report hinted at a nuclear-capable ALBM under development, targeting a 2025 deployment window. With this latest photo, timestamp 2023, but only just now surfacing, that timeline seems to be holding. Unlike older missiles like the CM-401, the CH, as X-13 features no external control fins or vanes on the nozzle, and its length, cone shape, and multi-stage design strongly suggest it's not a derivative of the KD-21. It is, according to analysts, an entirely new class of weapon. The emergence of the H-6N and CH as X-13 as an integrated weapon system isn't just about firepower, it's about geopolitical leverage. It sends a direct message to rivals. China can now project nuclear or conventional power from the air, with hypersonic reach and minimal warning time. That drastically changes how countries like the United States, Japan, and Australia must think about deterrence, force posture, and defense. Now, combine that with hypersonic speed and maneuverability, and you have a missile that arrives faster than most defensive systems can react. Traditional ballistic missile defenses are designed for predictable arcs, not something that swerves at Mach 10 in the terminal phase. A maneuverable warhead means shorter reaction times, higher uncertainty, and lower interception probabilities. From a nuclear doctrine perspective, this also strengthens China's second strike capability. If land-based systems are taken out in a first strike, airborne platforms like the H-6N can still launch a retaliatory response. This development makes China's nuclear deterrent more survivable and more credible, especially in the context of tensions in the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea. It also has implications for carrier strike group operations. If the CH-S-X-13 is used in an anti-ship configuration, it can threaten moving targets at sea with precision, reinforcing China's anti-access slash area denial A2 AD strategy. That forces the U.S. Navy to rethink how and where it deploys its most valuable assets. Carrier groups might now need to operate farther from contested zones, reducing their effectiveness in a crisis. Additionally, this development could trigger an arms race in air-launched hypersonic systems. The U.S. is working on the AGM-183 ARW. Russia has fielded the Kintel, but China, with this visual confirmation, might already be ahead in operational deployment. The clear implication? The sky is now a launch platform, not just an observation deck. Ultimately, the CH-S-X-13 and H-6N combo doesn't just shift military planning, it shifts strategic doctrine, regional deterrence models, and how nations define air superiority in the 21st century. The sky just got deadlier. The H-6N bomber carrying the CH as X-13 isn't just another advancement, it's a strategic warning. With air-launched hypersonic capability, nuclear potential, and extreme range, China has reshaped the rules of deterrence and long-range warfare. What was once the domain of land-based silos or submarine fleets is now flying at altitude, ready to strike from unexpected directions. This development compresses reaction times, challenges defense systems, and shifts power dynamics across the Indo-Pacific. As military watchers digest this revelation, one thing is clear, the next era of warfare won't just come from space or sea. It might fall silently from the sky. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.